Hello, and welcome to Steve Punk latest, or Steve Punk's latest. I rarely upload here now. Um, about my last video, which I'm pretty sure is public, where I just did the voiceover with, I hate the term, I like the word, random, but I might as well just call it random. Yeah, I upped the volume on that video twice. So, well, it, it's complicated. Especially, especially complicated when I save that to my phone just so that I can re-put it in my editor software, whatever it's called, whatever it is. Just so that I can put the volume up again. To the maximum again. <coughs> oh, excuse my burps. I've been drinking Pepsi Max. I think I'm about halfway down the bottle now. Well, I'm not drinking much of it and I've had it a few days. Saying halfway down the bottle, I don't know what size it is. Might as well show you. I know I keep talking so much and I'm trying to get other things done. This is a well, that shows 250 milliliters, but that's like for a share, a portion rather, of it. It's two liters. And I'm over half of it over the last few days. It doesn't matter! Get to your point, Steve, man. Come on. So I've been tidying out, like, sorting my room out. If you've known me since I used, like, since I was living with my grandparents, it was a hell of a mess, and things have seriously got on top of me again. I have to thank so many people for helping me out to at least try to get on top of things. I can't mention their names because of, well, various reasons. Hopefully you get my point, like what I mean. Times are still tough in my life, but um, I'm alive. For fuck's sake, I'm alive. Did I not finish saying something about my last video? Yeah, I was expressing how I feel. Not necessarily, actually, exactly, like, you know, hopefully, you know, anyway. Not how I feel, it's things like what has been troubling me for a lot of years. Ah, this is shit recording. I never did get round to selling my custom guitar picks, or plectrums, you might call them. Oh, plectrums, aren't they? I used to get that confused when I was a kid and got my first guitar where it would plug a speaker into it. What's an amplifier? What's a plectrum? Hmm. I really shouldn't be making this video right now. I should be tidying up. Trying as always, to get my life, so-called, back on track. I keep saying so-called because I have difficulty mentally processing the right meanings of... meaning? Meanings of things? Because of... It seems to be like... Em, embedded? Embedded? Embedded, I think, is the right word. Sort of like a mental trauma thing. I say stuff it. I'll just use the front camera for now. He has another update. Um, well, I've rearranged my room. I still have loads of tidying to do. And basically, bad quality video, I guess. But 
I've been asked to go down to see my new support worker, basically. I have the feeling it's going to be bad news. Um, yeah, I've been up for so many hours, I'm absolutely drained. I thought I'd dilate the pupils there, slightly, just with not sleeping too well. I hope I don't have my little finger, like pinky finger, over the microphone. I can up the volume at least once to, like, from the standard middle bar thing in the editor to 100%. Just slide it along to the right because I don't want, I don't want to do it again. Going back and forth through various things with this phone and the editor. Anyway some of my old paintings in my hand I thought I might help the staff out by giving them a free painting to liven up the office area in this building they're old paintings of mine and it, it doesn't seem like I've varnished them I still have that varnish there's a hair on it which is bloody winding me up Right, uh, there's one, just somewhat called, I like known as random paintings, and there's one, it's just what I used to do in my spare time, I'd like to get back into it because I'm a, like I've experienced a lot more and these just look like children's paintings don't they? So, I really do want to get back to painting again. Now that I have more experience of how to make things pull you in, as the term may be. Okay, let's see what my support worker wants. And, I'll get back there. Walked back into my room here, because my support worker, obviously I can't mention her name, she said, Stephen, I'm just going out for a tab. And I'm like, okay, I might as well have one in my place. So I'll go down to the office in about 15 minutes. Which gives me a chance to... Like, mentally... Like, pff, mentally process what's happened to me today. It's not much to most, to most people, but... Seeing ex-girlfriends, actually, two of my ex-girlfriends and mothers I've seen today, and it just made me think back to the past, really. How are those two girls that I was in relationships with? It really gets you thinking, you know. By the way, yes, you're bound to ask why there's a balloon stuck on the wall. It's from my birthday party, which I will not put on YouTube. Because I didn't record anything of that. It's just stuck up there with, like, balloon tape. There used to be three along there with yeah, my biker jacket there in a mirror. Um, with the happy birthday banner thing just over the mirror, but I've moved the mirror a bit and like I said earlier in this video I've reorganised so many appointments to make it to I'd say out of 50 appointments I've made it to 45 or 46 so I'm doing pretty well do you want to build a snowman? No! Okay, bye. You can sense my pulse in that. Uh, that's due to anxiety, I guess. In case I forgot to mention, this place is haunted. <laughs> Graham and Paul will get that. WXPM slash Denby Vids and 007 Vauxhall. So, 
there's a shout out to those two brilliant guys. 007 Vauxhall, 007 space Vauxhall, like the car manufacturer. He's actually been up in my hometown, South Shields. He visited the Roman fort and he was on Hadrian's Wall. That was quite a while ago. If you'd like to see the Roman fort in my videos, let me know in the comments. So anyway, about this balloon. It has like balloon sticky stuff. It's like a double sided sticky gel gooey stuff. And balloons can be stuck on a wall or even a ceiling. But there's none up there. I have a question by the way. How do people do this ceiling? It's not wallpaper. It's just like a turned around device. Hmm. It's interested me for quite a while, but I've never done any research on it. I did tell... Wait, I might have started recording too soon there, so I'll say it again. I did tell my friend Sheila in Toronto, in Canada, that my next video, which was like two videos like pre this, that it would be a video about what I got up to that day but strange things happen and they don't need to be in YouTube it was simply a video about well I was talking about people from my past that I'd seen in the local area and I was telling stories and it just took way too much time. But everybody experiences that every now and again, right? How you see old friends and they've grown up so much and even family contacts, somewhat family anyway. And all these coincidences, it's not worth talking about really. I've got the hiccupy sort of birth things now. Anyway, continuing this update, I need to remember that the camera's there, which makes me more, um, whatever it is, I'd rather just look at my phone screen. So I have spoken to my support worker in this building, and she needed to take a call, so I was like, yeah, no problem, I'll go out and close the door behind me, like the door of the office. And now I need to go back down there very soon and sort things out. She only wanted to talk to me about one thing. One thing. That was our camera there. It's just about rent and arranging payment and stuff, okay? But I tried to... When I first went downstairs to the office, I said, in case I'm in trouble for anything, okay, I asked my support worker this, or these rather, is it about the police? Which is not, I'm just, uh, whatever. And then I asked, is it about my wife? And she said no to both. Yeah, it was just about a rent payment. So, I'm getting my finances sorted out. Not finances, really, but just making sure that money coming in and going out matches up. Make sure all is well and good. Hopefully she's done with her phone call now. Um, I do need to give my support worker various other people's contact numbers so it all works out for the best when people are in contact with each other. You do get that, right? I've tried this zoom scale thing and it won't go to even plus one zoom. Anyway, as shitty quality as this phone camera is with the front camera, um, 
if I can get everything explained in this part. I doubt it. I am um, possibly being moved to a bigger room. Not being moved to a bigger room. I mean, I have the opportunity to upgrade. Yes, thinking of it in my mind right now. I can upgrade to a bigger room in this building because it has an ensuite which will help with my anxiety so personal hygiene is made a lot more accessible if you get my point right so I don't have to share a, like a communal shower room a toilet room where there's a sink so by the way me trying to think my hands all over the place there. So that will be awesome. And still on this floor of the building. But well, I've said too much already. Yeah, it will be awesome to have more space instead of like there's the corner of the room, and there's the corner of the room. And the reach of it, I'll, I'll give you a look. I am in the process of tidying, by the way. It's like only that long. It's longer than it looks on camera. Let's say, if I can measure this in meters, it's the same for like the room that I might be moving into. Like, front to back, from the door to the window. But it's two point two five to two point five times wider. Anyway, in meters that'll be going along this wall. Um roughly how long is a meter really? I can't visualise my granddad's old meter stick when he used to do his when he used to do his upholstery work. Um, one, two, three, four, five, about six meters length. I might be completely wrong, but six meters by one, two. I really can't. I was really young when my granddad had that meter stick like made of wood so obviously I've grown up, I've matured in many ways and it'll be a lot smaller than I remember so one meter, two seems like a lot less than three meters wide this room, corner to corner I will finish this video with a very Sincere, I hope that's the right word, a very sincere thank you to the people that work in this building and the amount of support you've given me. It really does bring me to tears. There's not many support workers or um, well, social services as they are called. They didn't have the right approach to get my mind sort of somewhat stabilised. But the amount of new type of support here for me <laughs> If you can tell I'm absolutely lost for words. Really. I can get my life back on track. And I do want to go out and take more photos, like, at least of the local area. Ah, there's so many more things I could say, but let's just leave it there. Um, the other things were just about paintings, if you're wondering, and... 
that I offer them to the staff here. People working here are helping me out. They don't know that, like, they don't know if they can accept gifts of or for gratitude. But they're just some of my old paintings. Oh, didn't I put that earlier in the video anyway? <coughs> Remember how I used to dedicate burps? That burp is dedicated to the people that have helped me out. If only I could mention their names, but only my closest friends, like in Facebook. The real me, not any of my old accounts or like any of my old Facebook accounts or people that have pretended to be me. Stuff that. Yeah, I can't mention anything other than to close friends about people's names of my support workers, but I'd rather not mention anybody's names anyway. Seriously. Keeps things simpler. Unless I have a phone call with somebody. Like a fellow YouTuber or somebody that I'm friends with with Facebook. As everybody in Facebook are people that I have known of for years and I fully trust them. I fully trust you if you're watching me and you're, let's say, here on Facebook. Because I'm probably just going to put the link in Facebook anyway. And I only use my phone at the moment. I want to get away from heavily edited videos that takes up so much of my time when I could be away doing other things. Uh, so much surrounding the video. So much surrounding this bloody video. I have one more thing to say. I'll do another video part or another completely separate video for this about somebody that recently passed away. Anyway, take care everybody. I want to say, well, rest in peace is the term that most people tend to say when somebody passes away. Alexander even tells father recently passed away. Alex told me that I think it was like a kidney problem and his dad was then in a coma. I don't want to start crying in a YouTube video again. Ugh, can't even use the B word, but um, I've met that guy. I've met Alex's dad, Tom. I don't know if Tom had dementia for sure, but he was in a coma and then passed away. I did, like when I met Tom, no, before I met Alex's dad, Tom, I remember a video that Alex made and like for YouTube and his dad, Tom, was saying like, what do you think of this guy? To one of Alex and Tom's neighbours, I think, like a family friend, basically. And I Honestly, I can't remember what she said, but it was a nice, somewhat secret recording. Or like, not known that they were being recorded. But all those videos are unfortunately gone from Alex's channel. I don't think Alex even makes videos anymore. By the way, sorry if I look so tired. It's just the angle and stuff, and I 
have had a lack of sleep as well as making it to a lot of appointments today but this video is just me showing my respect to Tom of whom I met when I went to Manchester you lot you lot probably know why I went to Manchester to rescue somebody who was apparently in distress but, but it gave me a chance to meet Alex anyway and then Alex came to see me when I was in Leeds in England in the UK if you don't know already so Manchester and then Leeds I just wish that I didn't have so many things on my mind when me and Alex met up in Leeds. It could have been such a better meet up. But throughout all of the arguments and things and disruption really that me and Alex have had, just like, I understand his frame of mind and he understands my frame of mind. So we're now friends again. It's all good. And hey, Alex understands that sending too many messages because he's lonely is going to take its toll, whatever the hell it's called, on my life. So, if Alex, yes, you Alex, I'm telling you off here. We can stay or like remain friends if you just don't, sorry if that's offensive, it does look pretty nasty, doesn't it? Anyway, we can remain friends for life, really. Just pull down on how many times you contact me every day. <laughs> yeah, uh, peace out everybody. Loving, well... Tom has my love and respect. If there's gonna be a funeral or something, it's really shitty that I can't go down to Manchester and be there really. Or maybe I can. I'm gonna to have to contact Alex and see what's happening. I won't record any of it. I'm just giving my respect to somebody that's known as passed away. Plenty more videos to come. And I might, by next week, be getting on. Excuse me, I've got to help the Nick She Knows. I might be getting back to my original Steve Punk channel if I can find some way that can use a soldering iron for the power jack of that laptop. Get it replaced and then I'll I'll be back on that channel. It's been well over a year since I did that. So Steve Punk um, Steve Punk UK I can do much easier than Steve Punk but this is my latest video thing just Somewhat of a temporary thing here. Right, I'll shut up. Thanks for watching and bye for now.